Hi, folks. Chris Voss here from the Chris Voss Show dot com, the Chris Voss Show dot com. Current blog post I want to share with you, of course, for you the latest in social media and technology. This is a phone versus comparison that we do on the Chris Voss Show. Um, we're comparing two major popular phones against each other. Now, these two phones are from AT and T dot com. That's AT and T dot com. Thanks to AT and T for providing the phones for us to compare. This is the newest phone, the HTC One, which has come out from AT and T, and we. We also have the Samsung Galaxy S3 from AT&T. Both are wonderful phones and definitely strong in their own right, although one's much newer than the other. Uh, some of the glaring differences are with the HTC One, you have a 1080p screen, front-facing 1080p camera, a much bigger screen as you can see, and then also you have the front-facing speakers. The Samsung uh, is a little bit different in its build, so we'll get into it. Uh, it's got a 720p screen, and uh, the front-facing camera is 720p. So some differences there in the uh, quality. So let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at the differences between the two. We're going to break down the stats, if you will, first. Then we'll get into some benchmarks and camera work. So. The height of the uh, HTC One is 5.41 inches, 2.69 in width, and 0.37 in thickness, whereas the Samsung Galaxy uh, S3 stands at a height of 5.38 inches, 2.78 in width, and 0.34 inches. The weight on the HTC One is a 5.04 ounces. The weight on the S4 is 4.69 ounces. Uh, the screen on the HTC One is a Super LCD 3 capacitive touchscreen, 60 million colors, 1080 by 1920 pixels, which basically means a 1080p screen, 4.7 inch screen, 469 ppi pixel density. And on the Samsung Galaxy uh, S3, you're looking at uh, 4.8 inch screen, it's a 720p, 360 by uh, 306 PPI, excuse me, Super AMOLED screen, 16.7 million colors, capacitive, multi-touch, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, going to the um, HTC One, it works off of HTC Sense UI 5, which is uh, very interesting. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the HTC Sense uh, system. Uh, I'm more of a fan of the um, Samsung uh, that it puts on the uh, Samsung devices and how they build them. Um, on the HTC One, we're looking at, on the chipset, uh, we're looking at a chipset of, um, well, let's start with this, Android OS uh, version 4.1.2. On the Galaxy S3, uh, we're running the latest OS that we can uh, get on the device, and it should be about 4.1.2 or 4.11 uh, that we have on this, so you can definitely get that up and going. The OS that uh, Samsung uses is called TouchWiz UX UI. Um, on the HTC One, you're looking at a Qualcomm uh, Snapdragon 600 quad core 1.7 gigahertz Kraut chip. And on the uh, S3, you're looking at a quad core, uh, it's a Samsung Enos, Exynos uh, 1400. Uh, megahertz, 1.4 gigahertz, we can probably call it. Now, ARM Cortex A9. And uh, on the HTC One, it comes in two different variations 32 and 64 gigabytes of memory. You can buy two different phones for that. And two gigabytes of internal RAM. Whereas on the uh, Samsung Galaxy S3, you have one gigabyte of RAM, 32 gigabytes of internal storage. Now, the one thing that is different here is the HTC One does not have a removable back or removable battery. With the S3, it does have a removable back and battery. And you can also uh, insert a micro SD card to expand the memory up to 64 gigabytes. So you can get a whole lot more bang for your buck, if you will, there. Okay, now with the uh, HTC One, you're looking at a four megapixel camera. It's something called Ultra Pixels. And with Ultra Pixels, they're basically designed to be bigger pixels in essence to give you uh, better shots in low light. Um, you can decide if it works for you or not. The uh, On the HTC One, the video out the back and front is 1080p at 30 frames per second. And the front camera comes in at uh, 2.1 front facing camera. On the uh, Samsung Galaxy S3, you're looking at 8 megapixels out the back, 1080p 
uh, 30 frames per second out to back and 1.9 megapixels. I believe at the front we're at 720p. Uh, then on the battery for both these devices, we're looking at 2300 uh, lithium ion battery for the um, uh, HTC One, and you're going to need it because it burns uh, some pretty good battery with that 1080p screen. Burns really, really fast, and um, I think it burns about 25% faster than most Android phones they have, but most Android phones don't have a uh, 1080p screen on them. So there is that trade-off. Uh, and it is a very fast moving chip too, to give you that. Uh, 2100 milliamp hour is, is the battery life on the uh, Samsung S4. So there you have the breakdown, of the comparison of the two. Now the bodies are very different on both these devices, as you can see here. Uh, we've got on the HTC One some sensors, and we've got the speakers that face forward. Now I love the face forward speaker system. It also works with Beats Audio. It really, when you watch movies and games and everything, it just blasts the music and the experience out to you. It is stereo, so when you hear things move from side to side, you get that movement sound. Really big difference. Now on the Samsung, the speaker is fairly small. It's on the back. This is one of the best things that I love about the HTC One. I hope more phone makers will make it where the speaker is in your face and facing forward. Now, of course, you can see it has a 1080p screen. Down here, we have got a home capacitive touch screen and a back button. Pretty much it. For the Samsung, we have some sensors. We have your speaker for making calls, so your front-facing camera here. Uh, we have your home button, which is a button in and of itself. And then we have a capacitive touch screen area for both menu and back button. They both pretty much do the same job when it comes to widgets, although the HTC One has got this new thing they have that integrates with Facebook, Twitter, and I believe LinkedIn pulling in your things, giving you this um, kind of flipboard experience when really you can uh, do the normal stuff that you would do through Android if you want. Uh, both work incredibly well with uh, Facebook Home. I definitely think they look good with Facebook Home. I love the Facebook Home feature, so uh, it works well on both these phones. One thing that is different, I'm not a big fan of the UI on HTC. I never have been. I really want to be, but I'm just not. You can see here there's a whole lot more buttons and different quick edits you can take and make with the Samsung, a lot more detail and fun stuff going on with the uh, notifications menu. Uh, much more customization available in the settings of the Samsung UI. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at the uh, body and design of these. Now the one thing that uh, people do complain about the Samsung Galaxy S3 is they call it plasticky. It does have a very plastic back to it and uh, it does have plastic sides. A lot of people really knock it for that aspect of it. I never have had any problems with the phone. The phone's very strong internally. In fact, when I've dropped this phone several times, it's survived very well because it was able to bounce. Although I have broken one screen on a Galaxy Note 2. So anyway, uh, let's talk about it. Uh, the HTC One has got a very solid aluminum, beautifully designed frame. Uh, you can see we'll go around here. You can see we've got the top with the power button and the uh, earphone piece. On the top of the S3, we have the earphone piece, a microphone hole. Uh, on the bottom, we have the uh, microphone hole and the um, sync charge area. Same thing with the S3 and the microphone hole on the bottom there. Uh, down the right side of the device we have a very very beautiful um, volume up and down switch that's designed and built on the HTC One. Let's see if we can't turn this off so we're not glaring. Um, on the HTC One, really beautiful design and we've got the power button on the Samsung Galaxy S3. Uh, on the left hand side we just have the SIM card tray area for the HTC One and on the S3 we have the volume rocker button. You can see they're very thin, they're very comparable to each other. I like the uh, I like the version where this rolls and bevels over, feels very comfortable in the hand. Although the S3 does feel very comfortable in the hand the way it is shaped. Now. You can see the back here is very beautiful on the HTC One. It's got this uh, finished uh, back to it. On the S3, it's got the plastic back. You can see here we've got a, a rear-facing microphone. Uh, we've got your lamp flash area here, your lens. We have Beats Audio. On the S3, we've got your... Um, camera eye, we've got your lamp flash, a small speaker. Now, the one difference is that the Samsung will pop off. Let's see if we can figure out how to pop the back off real quick. 
Um, and on the Samsung, we've got a place for a micro SD card and a removable battery, which is important. You can't do that with the HTC One. Conversely, you can look at the design of the HTC One. It's got these beautiful shiny edges, uh, very well cut beveled edges, very beautiful look to the phone, uh, which is one thing I like about it. Very solid feel, and many people like that over the Samsung products, which are kind of plasticky is the favorite word with the Samsung product. So it really is up to you. Let's take a look at a few of the things. Okay, so here we've run Geekbench 2 app, which is uh, pretty much the standard for benchmarking on these devices. You can see here that the uh, HTC One scores very well. It's up in the 2700s where normally when we score it. Uh, the Samsung Galaxy S3 scores around 927. Conversely, what's interesting though is we have word that the uh, Samsung S4, its phone that will uh, pre uh, that succeed it, uh, is actually going to be running about 3000 on the Greek Geekbench score. So, uh, very interesting as that develops, but let's take a look at this comparison here as we go down. I'll page down to the app, and the great thing about these apps is you can pause them at any time, and uh, you can decide which phones might be best for you. And uh, you can also compare them with the Android phones that you might currently have at this point in time and see how they match up. Okay folks, so let's look at the uh, camera uh, results on both these phones. Um, and of course with the HTC One you have the 4 megapixel with the ultra pixels and the Samsung you have a uh, 8 megapixel out the back. Now with the HTC One you can see we've got some brighter colors and better look to the overall image with the HTC One. But one thing we notice is when we blow up these photos <clears throat> When you blow up the photos, many times you can see a little bit more detail on the um, on the ones that are the ones that are not with HTC ones. In fact, I can't even blow this up past that point where I can keep right on coming with the um, with the Galaxy S3. So, uh, incredible difference in the quality of the photos there. Uh, on one hand, this looks nicer from a distance, but technically this one does have more detail. And of course, you can edit brightness, so that's something you can take care of an app. <clears throat> you can't replace mixed pixels. So I'll let you decide which is best there. Here's another uh, bright picture we took of a box. It's very colorful. Uh, I actually like the HTC One picture better in this case. Uh, here's some detail of a low light situation on some fabric. HTC One looks much better, but you can see more detail of the fabric. Um, a little bit better, well not really, uh, on this uh, Samsung, let's see, let's go ahead and blow it up here and see what we can see. Yeah, looks like you can see it better on the HTC One. Let's flip to our next thing. This is a video of us uh, taking a look at the uh, box here, going in and out. I think it's pretty much sixes. I mean, 1080p, 30 frames per second is 1080p. Um, it's really up to you which thing, which one you like best. I think I like the uh, HTC better. Most likely because it is a 1080p screen, so it's replaying the video in its accurate uh, way that it was put forth. Now, <clears throat> we tried taking some pictures in a darkened environment. This is, of course, a closet. Uh, the HTC One had a real problem with it, uh, getting a focus picture. We had to shoot it four or five times. This isn't a low-light situation. It's a completely dark situation. You can see how well the flash did with the Samsung Galaxy S3. In a video situation, once again, the Samsung S3 One, uh, it did a much better job at uh, complete darkness video, being able to focus and all that sort of good stuff. So it did very well that way. Uh, there was a picture we did. This is a low light picture of my dog that you can see here. I think the HTC pretty much won in this little battle in being able to bring forth a really good image. Now, detail wise, <clears throat> that may be another thing. I can see individual hairs on my dog, etc., etc., and uh, this looks much more better as I blow it up, and I can see the individual hairs where this only goes to this far of a blow up, uh, and of course here I can keep breaking it down because it has more pixels to it. Um, so I'll let you decide which one you think is better at shooting, uh, and that's it. It has both have got great cameras, um, they're very capable. It's whether or not you really buy into the whole. Uh, HTC One 4 megapixel ultra pixels argument. Now all in all I like both phones. They're very beautiful phones and uh, the S3 definitely had its time in, in uh, 
the time that it was uh, one of the new, newer, greater phones out there in the marketplace. And of course, the HTC One is one of the latest out on the market. So um, it's really up to you to decide which phone's better, which takes better pictures, and which is the phone for you. And of course, you can kind of see that maybe if you have an S3, what you might be wanting to upgrade to in the HTC One if it's going to fit the mold of what you expect or want out of a phone. So, both phones are great phones. Thanks to AT&T.com for sharing the phones with us and supporting us and being able to bring you these videos. Give us a like and subscribe to us on YouTube so that we can take and bring you more of these great videos. Thanks for coming by the ChrisVossShow.com. Be sure to check back often.